it's all Okay, uh, September 20th, must be just after 11 on September the 25th, 2018. Obviously quite windy. It's the wind, but um, yeah, well, uh, 25th of September, uh, be about 11 o'clock. Um, to be honest, it's perfect. This is just the perfect surface, just doing the usual trail, and it's also walk 77, so we're getting there. just difficult to talk in the wind. But it still feels good. I figured it wouldn't get too bad once we got here. But probably do my bit to avoid some of the mud today. I did manage to get a couple of buster, uh, splinters yesterday. Um, 
Well, it's that time of year where a lot of the trees are, of their leaves are falling off and you will get things like this. Well, I've never experienced it. Until yesterday I'd only ever had one splinter in about 70, in 76 walks. But sure enough, after yesterday, I had two of them. Easy enough to get out, but... Uh, I guess I'm just doing my usual trail, which must seem pretty boring. But at least I can talk now. Um, I've not seen the farmer's tractor, so I don't know where, uh, if he's doing any work today. Um, we'll see. Get about 11 degrees out, what house? 11 to 13 degrees. Uh, obviously, we've not had that much rain. Uh, the worst thing about a lot of bushes around about here is that they do tend to be quite jaggy. Which, it sounds like I'm being a bit of a wuss. And they're not particularly painful, but they are, you, they do give you a slight pain. However, what I had hoped was by now that my foot tolerance would be better than what it actually is. Um, one of those things, you just have to keep going. Um, reading, I uh, read in that book, The Beach, years ago, about the lead character taking out a big uh, jag from his foot and he hadn't even noticed it was there. Um, and I suppose that's a level that you kind of want to be at, although I appreciate that's a work of fiction. Um, but I suppose that is the principle. Okay. Not too bad. Still cold, but... Um. Just past the dog walker, he, I suppose the look in their face is kind of funny, but first of all, oh fuck. See, it's the reason why I can't be bothered with people while I'm on this. Uh, I dare say, to most of them, uh, sounding completely insane, sounding borderline schizophrenic. So up in the, the trail that I didn't even notice. So be it. Uh, also kind of proves my point. Uh, or walker. I guess people should be used to seeing me around here by now anyway. Oh well. So be it. As usual, I'm just in shorts, t-shirt, uh, shorts, fleece and a baseball cap. It's cold, it's going to get colder. At night, you, can, uh, you need to wrap yourself up in a baby. But this is me just at peace. This is actually, but it's also the reason why I head out at a certain time so that I can hold them. But everybody heads out at different times, so. But the problems with them. Um, at least it's not as bad as the weekend. However, Today we've got a 20 odd mile an hour wind, it's you get close to the bushes to the right or the trees uh, further back that we can even talk. 
Uh, because of, uh, even when I was coming down here, I just had this white noise of the wind. It was very, very difficult. And right about here, it'd be a nice day without the wind. You're always going to get some pretty strong winds. And from now till about April. And I guess for well, 77, even for with like 85, the end of play on Sunday, which is 10 more than what I'd ever planned on doing. Um, a couple of them will be struggling to go out tomorrow, but I'll try to uh, if I do, it might be an early morning walk. seen those couple of trees in the midsection. I'll take a look at the midsection, see how it looks. Not that many people walk it for some reason, some do, but not that many. Some people would prefer to cut through to the main road and cut around that way. So there's no, as a result, it's not trampled down and there's no real path on the bottom part. Although, Right angle, close to the back. Uh, hold on. We'll take a look, and if we can do it, we can do it. My worry, my thoughts are that because I've obviously had some heavy machinery down here, that it might be doable. What might be, uh, but the minute I'm struggling is the minute I'm doubling back. Or the minute we get any of the, uh, okay, they're basically thistles. Um, this is a bit that I've struggled in the times that I've done it. And it's normally from about the midway section that you do struggle. Also, even to walk in the land is not easy. Because it tends to be very stony. And the first time I ever walked this, it did, it did stop me. But we'll give it a shot. And with luck, we might be able to... Uh, up by the east end of the field. If we can do that, that would be good. Then just cut around them. Just gives us another dimension. But we'll see. On the brow, uh, on the other side of things, get home, shower, begin. It's funny, I never noticed the splinter until late last night. It wasn't until after dinner that I actually started to feel it. So, we're splinters. Um, but when I did, it was like, yeah, we'll see. Now, what I'll do is instead of walking up that small rise before heading home, I'll. Um, oh. No, it's going to get too tricky. Uh, oh. No, it's 
I can feel it from here, it's going to be horrendous and looking back to the expedition I've gone over and over. Double butt. She's uh, just there, but um, no. and failed but it's just the second half of that uh, that part of the walk you just looking at the it was just too dry uh, it was too dry the stone's too big uh, I don't want to inch I don't want to get hurt the minute things get uncomfortable stop it's just not worth it That's my own take on it. If anything gets, nothing's worth, nothing's worth getting an injury over. Calculated g uh, gambles, yep, but uh, no. Especially when you look at some of the bushes here, well, looking quite nice. You can definitely see the jags all over them, and even the leaves are quite jaggy, and they can leave a jag in them. Which I guess is part of their natural defence. Uh, not worth it. And it does, it does it stings more. It, uh, it just feels like, you know, it just feels like a small jag getting stuck into you. Not painful, well, a little painful, but not, not very painful, but more. The concern is you've got to try and get it out of your skin. We've been jagged again, God knows what on. It's just that time of year. And you've got breaking off. Endless leaves down this part of the trail. So you've got the choice. Stones which will be awkward or bushes which will be just as awkward. Um, personally uh, the mud in the field's a bit dry, but even when it's wet it can still be 
awkward because of the size of the stones. So I don't have a preference, it's uh, six and a half a dozen. It's it's just as awkward. Both and neither one of them's easy. You just have to somehow grin and bear it. Okay. However, that was still quite interesting because I was able to do about half of the bottom part of the field. The tractors obviously bulldozed its way through the middle part, but uh, right, this middle section is also going to be quite strange because uh, they really have taken out what was the trail. Uh, this bit here's the nobody's really dampened it down as yet or stamped it down so uh, we'll see we'll see here we go this was always kind of the secondary trail which I jumped onto when I was trying to avoid other <laughs> walkers Part of me thinks that they, fair enough, it's the farmer's field, but part of me thinks they just stamped on it just to stop us from walking over the side of it, giving himself an extra wee bit of land. Can't blame the guy for that, really. Ah, pink cones, a wee bit sore underfoot, but nothing ma not manageable. Again, I think the idea was that basically I would spend the summer getting my feet to the point where that they were amazingly thick, where they uh, where they could withstand a lot of, uh, and yeah, I walk about barefoot all the time in the house as part of everything. But as I've often said. Walking in barefoot uh, about the house doesn't really do anything. Well, it does a bit, flattens the foot a bit. Uh, it prepares it to a little tiny part of it. But really, given the mixture of surfaces and so on, nothing beats, uh, nothing can compare to being out on a trail. Uh, you won't get the range of textures underfoot that otherwise. Uh, it is harder, um, much, much harder being out. Like, here's me going home, I'll be in barefoot about the house, give myself a quick shower. But you are very much caused heat because you've got household textures. Okay, I don't have a whole lot of carpet. Um, but even lino is still kind of. It's not the same. Uh, Right, this is where you can see from here he really has cut it down and nobody's trampled on it enough to a walk in the tread. Well, a couple of people have, so... Uh, I suppose the more people that do it. The funny thing, the thing that I'm feeling right now is I do feel stones. And because there's not been a whole lot of rain, but you can also see the stones. Uh, a big part of Scottish fields, and it's very rare that you'll ever get a field where somebody's pretty much going through it with a sieve. Uh, short while this will all be stamped down, and being honest, I'm just following other people's trail uh, tracks. But as com compared to the southern northern part of the field, it's still a bit uncomfortable uh, and also because we've not had a whole lot of rain the stones will get trampled down deeper and dirt will no doubt go over them but still uh, the other side of the coin is I've still got to double back however this one's turned out to be one of the longer videos uh, I'll get there. 
we'll jump over here for a couple of minutes just to give my feet a bit of relief and it feels wonderful uh, see this is interesting because I have really dug into the side of the field I didn't say this, there's a lot, still one hell of a lot of thistles and anything that can jag you Likewise here, so I'm going to jump back on and Okay, we're about 100 yards from the, about half, generally what used to be the halfway point. Uh, you can definitely see how the field's changed, and definitely see how it's really, how the ploughing and so on has completely changed it. Um, it was interesting from the first few walks that I did coming going back to that sunny day on what about the 5th of May or something like that the early part of May um, I think that video was on uh, I don't think even, it was on Twitter I think yeah it was on Twitter but uh, it was quite a it's a shame I never kept it for posterity or it's a shame that I never put it on YouTube uh, because I did a lot of, I did a bit of exploring and so on, and it was also me about it. Just, I suppose a lot of it was quite self-indulgent, and it was just myself looking about. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I saw any dog walkers that day, which kind of gave me the confidence to keep uh, doing it, which I kind of have done for almost five months. Uh, but it gave me the push. Until then, I mean, four walks, and until about four walks in six months, well, it wasn't the greatest. If it's four walks in about six, seven months, it wasn't the greatest, but it was a long, hard winter, followed by a very, very hot summer.